How to use invoice simple app tutorial for beginners. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about invoice simple, which is a platform that allows you to create very simple invoices that you could send to your customers or even keep to yourself from your phone or laptop. This platform has a mobile app that you could download to your phone and use it there as well. And you could use it also on your laptop or your computer. So we will be demonstrating on how you could use Invoice Simple. We will explore the different tools, the different features, and the basics of how you could use the Invoice Simple. So first things first, you're going to have to click on Try It For Free over here on the top right. And we will be redirected to this page over here. As you can see, we will be able to right away create an invoice for us to use. Now, before we start, we will first select our industry over here. We have all of this industry over here. Let's click on other and click on agree and continue. Now over here, as you can see, this is the invoice. You could already see the information that you could put into this section. You could put in the title over here of your specific invoice. For example, let's say t-shirt design commission. Just like that you could put your logo over here of your business or your personal logo you could type where it is from for example for me i will type in my name over here my email my address my phone my gst some of the information over here is completely optional you don't need to put in your address or your phone but if ever you would like to put it you could of course put it over here you could also put the name of your customer over here who you will be sending the invoice to you could put in their name over here, the client name, client email, their address, phone, mobile, and fax over here. Let's say our client name is Chris. And the email is Chris Customer at gmail.com. Then for me, let's say this is my name, then my email will not be given for now. You could add your logo over here if I forgot to say. You could see your number over here, like the invoice number, the date, the terms over here, recipient, custom, next day, whenever this will be sent. And your also description over here. Let's put in our t-shirt design. Then we have your rate over here. Let's put our rate as uh, 1,000. There we go. That quantity is, let's say, 2. Then it will automatically compute our output over here you could also add some details you could also add more description over here let's say video commission just like that then for our rate let's say our rating for our video is 53 then we created like 10 videos and it will automatically compute it as well as you can see here and it will also show you the subtotal the total and balance due over here you could add some notes you could add some signature and you could also add some photos over here as some type of proof like a receipt and all of those stuff. You could also change the color of your invoice like some minor changes over here at the top. You could see the changes. It won't be changing the background. You can change it to the color. You could accept online payment by enabling this. Then you could select whether you want it to be Visa or the other type of online payment but to be able to use that we would need to have an account as you can see here we will be able to sign up with our first name last name email and password over here now as you can see this is the section wherein you could set up the online payment wherein your customers will be able to pay you through paypal visa mastercard and all of those online payment by following the steps available in this section now let's go back to our page earlier we're going to continue our invoice over here. This is the invoice. I think it accidentally uh, closed the editing. Let's click on edit over here. And there we go. We're back here. You could add all of the stuff. You could add custom color, tax over here, on total, deducted per item. You could choose the option that you want. And you could put in the rate of the tax. Let's say the rate of the tax is uh, 5%. 0.5% there we go so 126 peso is removed from our earnings over here you have your discount over here you could change the currency over here you could change it to dollar or you could change it to any type of currency that you are seeing over here it's completely up to you on what type of currency that you would like to have depending on the 
country of your client or depending on your own currency. For example, Japan over here, you could change, it will automatically change the pricing over here depending on the specific currency that you have selected. And then after this, after editing all of the stuff, you could also preview this via email, like you could type in your email over here, add send, and then you will be able to see a preview of the email so that you could see what it would look like. You could also get link over here or you could also print invoice over here. Right now, this is an email invoice. You could create a invoice for PDF, but right now we would need to upgrade it to be able to use it. And you could also record payment over here. You could also click on preview and this is what it would look like when your customer receives it through their email. Now it is very easy, very useful. It is direct to the point. You don't need to do any random stuff and you will be able to also click on estimates over here. You could have your estimates, you could click on new estimates so that you could have some estimates over here. You could click on client so that you will have like a list over here so you could monitor your different client and how much they will need to pay you. You could also list down your items over here so that you could automatically add it to your invoices with ease and there's also payments over here. Now you could use as many or you could create as many invoices as you want and absolutely for free. Now there are some plans when you click on upgrade as you can see here we would need to upgrade to be able to access some sections over here. You can see here this is their pricing. The essential is $7 per month. The plus is $13 per month. The premium is $20 per month. And as you can see here uh, there will be different options. Now for the free version I think you can only create one. I think I misspoke earlier so we won't be able to create unlimited invoices. For the essential we will be able to create up to three invoices. Plus is up to 10 and premium is up unlimited over here. The estimates is unlimited for all plans and there will be this different features over here. You can simply check them out and explore the different changes or the different plans and their features and you could use this invoice simple for any type of business that you have it is not limited to one type of business as you saw earlier there will be multiple types of categories that you could use this for and depending on how you use it you will be able to utilize it very efficiently and you will be able to add like taxes discounts you could add your items over here you could add as many items as you want you could have the dates, terms, and put everything that you have. You don't need to fill everything up. You don't need to put your address, your phone number, your business number. You don't need to put the address of the client, the phone number, mobile, and fax, all of those information. You will be able to have the invoice be generated as is. As you can see here, you were able to generate it without the need of adding the email, the number, the address. But if you do have that and if you would like to have it be presented on your invoice you can simply put it on the information or the section wherein you type in the information like the address phone number and business number over here and by doing that you will be able to also preview it over here and you could also record your payment over here like if ever they do paid already you could simply type in the amount paid and their methods over here like cash check bank transfer, credit card, or PayPal. Let's say PayPal. And let's click on save payment. And as you can see, we will be able to have a payment history wherein we were paid already the amount that we are asking from our client, which is Chris. And you will be able to see like a receipt over here. And right now, the balance due is none because it is currently paid. And you'll also see the date over here so that you can track it very easily. And that's it guys, that is how you could use Invoice Simple completely as a beginner. You can also see here on the balance due on the homepage of the invoice, it is currently paid. And that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.